The Roku LT is only about $50. And for that price, I think it's a good bargain. Uh, the one major thing that it's missing is YouTube. Watching YouTube videos like We Talk Nerdy TV is not officially supported. However, it is possible uh, by installing uh, a channel called Video Buzz. And here's how you do it. Step number one, you're gonna go to HTTP, well, go to this address right here. HTTP freestream.tv Roku dash channels slash video buzz. Step two, click on channel add, video buzz. Step three, click yes and add the channel. And then step four, you're gonna to need to enter your Roku password to add the channel. Now, I had forgotten mine, um, but Roku uh, reset it for me and sent me an email, email with the new password. Now that you have that set up, step five, you go to your Roku box where you should find the newly added video buzz. And with it, you can search uh, YouTube, you can browse sections like top channels or top rated, most discussed and so on. And you can even search for your favorite videos like We Talk Nerdy TV. The nice thing is that Video Buzz saves your previous searches so you don't have to type it in again the next time. Even better, you can put in your YouTube user ID and then that way you can access the channels that you subscribe to and you can even play a uh, playlist. So if you have an audio playlist and you like to listen to music on YouTube, um, you can do that very easily with the Roku. To do this, first go to youtube.com, click on your name in the upper right hand corner. Next, select the my channel link for your address will be in the address bar. It will look something like this. Your user, your YouTube user ID is the part after slash user and before the question mark. Now, click on the add user account box on your Roku enter your YouTube user ID and presto. Now you have access to all the channels and you can, uh, sorry, you have access to all the channels you subscribe to on your Roku box. Uh, the Roku LT is a terrific advice. I like it, I would recommend it. It's inexpensive, it's only $50. Um, it does have some pros and cons. Um, on the pro side, like I said, it's inexpensive. It's fairly versatile. You can add, uh, you know, uh, video buzz so you can stream YouTube videos. On the downside, there's no, it doesn't come with an HDMI cable, so you're going to have to get one of those. And uh, it's wireless only. And if you've used wireless internet, you know that sometimes it can be a little bit uh, slow. Um, so you don't always get the best experience, but I myself hadn't had too many problems. I've got a pretty good uh, Ethernet setup in my house and well, your, your mileage may vary.